Hello, greetings. This is Gilles Monsillon. I am still here, and so I come back and continue to speak about this interdimensional um, energies. For for there is a, there is days that are much easier than others. We are getting ready actually for a huge shift, the biggest shift that we have ever known. In 2020, will be uh, the, all the twenties will be uh, the, 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 those decades that is coming will be shifting for all of society. Sometimes and, and this this shifting is coming because uh, there is this powerful conjunction of Saturn and Pluto. For Saturn and conjunct Pluto every 30 years, but in Capricorn it's 180 years uh, because Pluto takes 180 years to go around the Sun and through the astrology and, and Saturn every 30 years. But this will really, really shake up all, all kinds of things. And for me, it's like right now, I have two, those two realities that are, that are still confronting each other. It's like there is this fight of this, this beautiful reality that's completely enlightened, that's supported by my higher self. And there is this other part that's supported by invisible force that sometimes casts a shadow over me and show me that no matter what, it's like, uh, it's like uh, um, uh, death is at the, the end, is, is right there. So it's like, it's like whatever, fear. But, but since I'm not afraid of death, I feel like if, if I have to be stoic and accept and say, well, so be it. It's like, I, if I have to continue my work on the other side of the veil, I will. It's no... Um and so I embrace the embrace the positive and negative in order not to make any resistance or create fear in relationship to to the most negative outcome. Yet I have to let I know I have to let go of that and and to to remove all those old beliefs in order to, to, to be able to focus on this ascension. There are days where we feel we have all the courage in the world and there are some days we feel a bit overwhelmed. I feel like I'm just sharing thoughts from my heart is in relationship to what's going on and hoping that this will serve you in some way. Um, is that so I feel like we're, we're navigating, we're on a boat and there is those huge waves and sometimes we pass over the wave, but sometimes the wave is so big, the, the boats turn over and so we, 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 we fall into the water and we have to, 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 to drink some, some water and it's like <laughs> so, but but it's like we cannot think about navigating in those times so you have to allow the whole the, the whole day to happen if the day started in on the the boat turned over and the beginning of the day you have to spend the day turning the boat over and, and removing the water before you can start navigating again so it's about accepting that it's those are all karmas we want to we want to Spirit is talking to me about freedom, about joy, about happiness, about about uh, my projects coming together. So I, I do not want to uh, contradict that. Uh, yet uh, some, there are some days where I feel like I'm completely overwhelmed by um, by negative energy, which is like okay, fine, you know, it's like so be it. Um, but what we want is to clear up all our thinking process, all those those other influences, old habits, all old beliefs. Um, and so, uh, so that we can be free, because we're getting ready for this 12-12 and 21-12, 12-21, uh, that I will be uh, will be uh, assisting us in removing all those old fears. I'm going to pull a few cards from the Akash to see about for the chakra system. Chakras are energetic centers that will will come be, become aware more and more, and we'll be able to clean and clear all our chakras, our energy centers, so that we'll uh, will. Um, We'll, we'll be able to, to eventually fuse all our chakra system into a, into a pillar of light. Oh, the cards are all, there's all different from the, from the French reading, but they are all positive as well. For we all had positive cards in the French reading, but they're all different this time. And so this chakra is aligned on a, on a vertical um, axis. And, 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 and they condition a lot of things that is going on within us, whether it is understood or beliefs or not. Uh, at the, ba the base, the root base is, is uh, Pluto. It is, the, it is where all the challenges come from. It is, uh, it is on, the, on the bottom of our spine. And here we have the, the transport. It's about being the, to pull all those, um, those wagons. It's about staying on track. It's about uh, sitting and allowing ourselves to be carried on to, to, the, to, to to the, the express train of, of God, to all the way to paradise, the paradise express. We want to be on the paradise express where all things are, um, we, we flow into this sphere of divine grace where it's like, it's, it's, um, 
So we want to we want to be as much as possible, stay on track. Uh, what comes in the navel chakra, which is ruled by Saturn, it is uh, it is the, the earth plane, the astral plane. It's, a, it's a chakra of harmonization of sexuality as well, which ruled by Saturn, the Lord of Karma. Here we have the mother. It's about connecting to our mother earth, to the mother spirit, to the love of the universe, to all the feminine, the goddesses. What we have in our in our solar plexus, the power center, which is ruled by Jupiter. Here we have the, the lessons and the good deeds. I'm sorry, I have some paint on my hands, but uh, we have the lessons and the good deeds. So it's about uh, understanding our lessons, and then what we what we learn our lessons, we can we can actually uh, harvest all the good deeds. Then uh, then the, the those are creative chakras. Then the heart is a neutral chakra, and then with the three upper chakras are, are receptive. Uh, the heart is the, the central. Uh, everything is uh, everything evolves around the heart. The more we connect to the heart, the better we better off we are. And in the heart, in this neutral chakra, which is ruled by the sun, is the is the, the the trees the trees are the the pacifier they are the balance which brings the harmony on the planet they are the connection between the elemental kingdoms of water fire air and and um, and earth and uh, and all of the rest of life so so it's about growing it's about being anchored into the earth and continue to grow in our expansion of our consciousness what we communicate on our fifth chakra, which is ruled by Chiron, which is a chakra that we share with our I am presence. <clears throat> is the alimentation and anger so it's about finding out what we what drives our life so what is our craving and what are the true heart desires and what is our craving we, we do want to eventually become master of our senses we do not want to be overwhelmed we want to take care of our physical body and give it what provided what we need what it needs but we do not want to be a uh, slave of our senses if our senses require something because of habits we want to um, it was the, the the master of wisdom thought explains never do i'm not saying to, to do that but all the time but it says never drink when you're thirsty wait till when you're thirsty just overcome the thirst and then you can drink never eat when you're hungry because it, like once you if you if is if you uh, if you can overcome the feeling of anger you become master of your senses then the, the feeling pass and then you can eat so so it's about it's about being more more aware of those craving and to be more in control of ourselves to to know what we really need in terms of uh, energetic uh, nourishment i'm just sharing some thoughts and ideas i'm not uh, it's not a one size fit all it's just uh, ideas uh, what, um, although God is a one size fit all, we all have to embody our higher self, which is different and unique to ourselves. What we see in our third eye, the seed of our consciousness, the, the sixth chakra, so the, which is uh, ruled by Neptune, is the karmic relation. It's about uh, uh, understanding that everything in our life has a meaning and purpose. <clears throat> And so it's about connecting to the, those relationships and, and to, 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 to let go of the negative relationship, to tune in to those people and frequencies and relationships that are consonant with us, that are that are make us feel good and not giving time and power as little as possible to those relationships that are not pleasant, to discharge the negative energies from our life. And what crowns us, the crown is ruled by Uranus, is, uh, is connected us to the higher plane, is Asia. This connection to Asia, to this beautiful continent of Asia, the wonderful culture of Asia. And it is also here, it is the Buddha, it is a state of samadhi, of lucidity and serenity in all circumstances. So it's about being able to, to connect to this inner place of peace and, and it crowns us, so this energy will come down. What is anchored within the earth and our solstice, in our earth star chakra, is the figure of authority. We, we're getting more, um, um, we have to become an authority on ourselves. There is nothing all those those power those those powers over those people that control the world so the power over have, have created this orwellian tyranny but we have to regain our own power as people regain their own power we become self-ruled and respectful of the of the the world around us we won't need that much to be controlled we, we they will be have no more control so we do want to become an authority to disconnect to other authority in respectful of the laws of, of of the land and time we live in but but still to, to become um, to not let ourselves to anybody tell you what you fear what you need to, to, to you you are the authority on yourself and this is anchoring into the earth and so we the light workers will become be given more power to 
to bring about those new ideas, the children as well. Um, and then on the on the, the soul star chakra, which is a, a sort of an energy center that we have above our head that we share with our higher self, is uh, we have forgiveness. So the forgiveness is coming from the higher self. So if we are forgiven, uh, uh, forgiven by our Creator, by our higher self, we will find the, we will be able to to be liberated from the old karma and so we'll, we'll, we want to have it to deal with those older energies, those old energies that are, may still be um, affecting us at time. I wanted to speak about uh, the idea that in the old days there was primitive people that lived on the earth and they were very always, uh, they, they were doing many ceremonies in relationship to, to, to the respect, honoring and love of Mother Earth for, for they recognized that the earth was a living being which is something that, uh, but how can the planet be a living being? Well it is, and the stars are living beings, they are not just things, they're, they're, they're beings, they're, they have a physical aspect like we do but we're not physical, only physical, we also have a, a persona, an energetic aspect of ourselves, which is far more essential than, than the physical surface representation and so the earth was a, known as a living being and uh, at this time when we were, the, all the ceremonies were doing a lot of fasting and, and, and bringing gift to the planet and trying to align with protecting the elemental world there was there was full abundance there was clean air there was clean water there was plenty of food there wasn't much needed to do and when there was illness that would come in the earth would provide the right plants that could bring back the body into alignment but then eventually this planet got raided because of its beauty and biological diversity by negative extraterrestrials that took over the control, the dark galactic, and then at, at, at which point the light galactic had to create an opposing force to that, and, and so the worst cycle of war started between the dark and the light, uh, which is uh, about coming to an end. And so, but because those darker, those darker forces knew only greed and, and uh, greed and um, and power over it was about it's all about taking 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 without a respect of the elemental world of the all those invisible intelligent force that maintains all of this as we become more aware and respectful of the nature we'll be able to do it's not about um uh, everything is okay, everything is acceptable, the earth was created for you, the sun was created for you, for having this experience of going back into this nature. I started at 7 a.m. this morning and then until 11 a.m. but now they're starting again to, to like chop up trees next door, sending messages into the nature so that life can just withdraw into the roots so the trees can once they're working on it's good to, to inform nature of what has been done before we cut trees it's good to inform it 15 minutes before so the, the life force can withdraw and then so that the nature is not shocked by the those, those machines and so uh so i'm gonna finish i'm uh, sorry about the noise huh? Uh, what we seek is to, is to reconnect to our higher self. Our DNA is expanding right now. Humanity is working with 10%, 15% of 10%, and at most 15% of its brain power. And uh, but uh, what would it be if we had 30%, 50%, 70%, 100%? 100 it is about reconnecting our as our DNA awakens. We reconnect, and when our brain start function optimally. We we'll reconnect to our higher self. If our brain once we'll have a 100%, we'll be fully integrated with our soul and monad and higher self. And uh, the essence is to activate those two parts. We have two brains as we have uh, in, in the universe. We, they were mortal beings are creating a single brain, two brain or three brain, major brains. But here we have we have two brains. We have a logical brain and an intuitive brain and, and we are very um we're very active with the, the logical brain, but not so much in the, in, the, in the intuition. So it's about balancing out and become fully active in those two uh, hemispheres of the, of the brain. And once they fuse and become integrated, there is the, the mini brain that is being activated, which is the cerebellum, which gives us access to the world of energy and the aura expands and we'll discover all kinds of magic powers as we do that. For it's like uh, it's like when we, go, we are in school right now, and there is like uh, this old school, and, and, um, and when we are in school, there is certain classes that we're very comfortable with, and certain classes we don't like as much. It's not as comfortable, and uh, certain children are more comfortable with one or the other, or other classes. And so, so, but we go to those classes because it's part of the parameters, and we have no choice. And sometimes, we, and then it comes the time of exams when we, when we go into an exam time for for. 
for a test when we uh, in, the, in the classes that we love and we're comfortable we go there and we do it but then when it's like uh, those classes we don't really like and we know we're gonna have a test there is this fear and apprehension but we want to go for it anyways and that will discharge the fear and in a sense there is nothing to it is by going through those processes that we can be free from that and uh, because it's really hard we, we to, to, to move the essence is to dissolve the fear and move into joy for the fear is part of the old program and the joy is part of the new but to accept that we we that that we no longer turn to fear and, and always turn to joy for our experience will take a pro it's a process huh? it's gonna it's gonna come gradually where we'll be able to find that freedom for the universe is doing most of the work huh? so it's, uh, and so it's and we're getting ready for those portals of 12-12 and 21-12 uh, let's hope that this will uh, will unfold uh, gracefully that we we'll, won't have to face too many um, we won't have to um, to face too many difficulties on the, on the way huh? and we want to expurge and find this freedom for 2020 if God willing we stay here and if, even if we have to go we'll continue to do this work from, from another plane so there is nothing to fear in a sense uh, behind me, the, the paintings. This is a study. It's a study on uh, acrylic and um, and pen. Uh, it's my mother, Marie Anda, and a friend of hers, David. It's a study, a study for this painting I did. It's uh, it, it looks like an early Chagall. It's kind of naive. And, uh, it's my mother and Debbie on the beach. And I did this painting. It's a it's a gift for a friend of mine in London. When I go there, I will give it to him. I hope he will like it. Um, thank him. For gratitude for, for, for assisting me, um, and so um, so, uh, and this painting, um, this painting is about it's a, it's a solar system. I'm going really really slow on it. It's like um, now it is starting to get integrated. I closed down the sun here. I, mean, I did a brown line, but it was too strong. Then I did a gray line, then it was too strong, and then I put a light yellow line. Uh, it's still it's still a bit present, but uh, but it's getting more integrated. Sometimes I go I have to go very slow to see what uh, what to do on those paintings. I will share some. Uh, this is uh, the painting of Modigliani. Actually, I'm, I'm still processing. Huh? It's like I'm, I, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to change the background to make it look like a more, more Modigliani. I thought it was finished, but Modigliani never made a clean, clear background. He always made uh, so I'm going to make it more like. A, like he would, but the, but the eyes are pretty good. I think it's, uh, it's, it's uh, it looks like him. <laughs> um, and then those two paintings are like uh, more like a sketch. They're still very sketchy. I just started them last night, and you have to know a little bit the artist to understand the the the, 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 the vibration of those artists. The first one is a portrait of uh, Alberto Giacometti, who is a sculptor and a painter. And this is so far what it looks like. It's still a bit sketchy, but that will be his portrait. Uh, Giacometti was. Um, he has his sun in Libra, and he was ascendant in Leo, and his moon in Virgo. Um, and uh, so this is, uh, it's gonna, still a bit sketchy, but it's, and then the other painting is about Piet Mondrian. Still, still, still just beginning, I'm just starting it, but it's like, uh, I'm gonna put his glasses, and he's here with his pipe. And uh, so he had, he had a, a conjunction with his moon and his ascendant in Aquarius. He has a sun in Pisces and uh, his north node in, um, in, in, in Gemini. So it's like, uh, I don't like it. I'm, I'm gonna, I was going to do Magritte, but this is really, I don't know how to approach it. I still have two canvases, but I'm probably going to do Magritte and something else. I'm going to do another artist and eventually I'm going to expand. From now I'm doing modern art, huh? I'm doing the artist. Probably the Pierre Bonnard, maybe. Uh, I'm going to finish with a song, a song and pull a few cards from the Archangel, it's a gospel song, I'm sorry about the outside noise, it's beyond my control, it goes like this, it's called I Saw the Light by Johnny Cash. I wandered so endless, life filled with sin, I wouldn't let my dear Savior in, then Jesus came like a stranger in the night, Praise the Lord, I saw the light, I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night, now I'm so happy, no sorrow in sight. Praise the Lord, I saw the light, just like a blind man I wandered along. 
Worries and fear I claim for my own Then like a blind man that God gave back his sight Praise the Lord, I saw the light I saw the light, I saw the light No more darkness, no more night Now I'm so happy, no sorrow in sight Praise the Lord, I saw the light <clears throat> I was a fool to wander and stray Straight is the gate and narrow the way Now I have traded the wrong for the right Praise the Lord, I saw the light I saw the light, I saw the light No more darkness, no more night Now I am so happy, no sorrow in sight Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Uh, thank you very much for staying till the end, for, for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, for supporting this channel. I know much is changing. Let's hope that, uh, that the change will be easy and kind on us, that life will be good for us, and that we can return the favor to life. For we all want to be good for to life. I'm going to pull four cards. Well, we have, um, the highest wisdom is the six of Michael. The light is at the end of the tunnel. Breathe and start new project. Move to another country or traveling. So much is going on. Eh? So it is, I know that for me, Spirit is telling me I'm going to be able to travel again, to start enjoying my life again. For this year has been like uh, very difficult. What we need to understand is the page of Raphael. Kind, loving, dreamer, sincere. The situation is giving birth to new emotions new relation or invitation to an event. Your intuition is speaking much. So listen to your intuition and, and continue to follow it. What we need to do is the nine of Raphael, what a wonderful card. Make a wish. Your dreams are coming, becoming a reality, a happy time of your life. So it's about being ready for a happy time in our life, to allow joy to become the dominant force within ourselves. And the outcome is to change your life, the Archangel Samuel. A uh, sudden revelation that allows us to, 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 uh, to have a glimpse on, on freedom. Do not postpone until tomorrow what you need to do today. Grasp every opportunity that offers every change. So he's looking at the material world here and it's like, uh, so it's about, it's about uh, we, we, stand, we stand in readiness for the doors to the, the world to open. Well, thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Namaste.